everybody. Welcome. This is your reading for me. And I'm getting quite a few messages. So I want to go ahead. I'm going to do a different kind of spread here. And, okay, what are the most? Let's see here. Ooh, that hopped right there. So we're going to start here. I am picking up some legalities for somebody. So let me um, actually turn this this way a little bit. Okay, I'm going to just draw. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, the Seven of Wands in my challenge position. The Ace of Cups and the emperor. I want to see what's underneath. The strength card. Okay. So, Leo Aries Sagittarius may be of importance. Also, I am getting uh, the water signs, especially here with this Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, let me angle this down here and hopefully not get too much of a glare. All right, first of all, I wanna talk about the legal situation. I feel that there's a situation going on where it's round and round and round. So what I mean by that is you might be coupled up, you may not be, um, obviously this is not for the single people unless you are recently single and maybe you ended a relationship or uh, a relationship ended where it was just, you weren't getting anywhere with this person. Uh, I feel like that possibly emotionally they weren't open or something was shut down uh, there may even have been an influence of something like an, an addiction that was affecting a relationship and you have to make a decision of whether or not you were going to continue it. Now, for some of you, this can be going on still where you're deciding. And for some, it could be somebody new is coming in. The other thing I'm getting is for some of you, you might be with somebody right now and they could be somebody that's new or someone, if you're single, new is coming in. But I'm being pulled to the past and I feel like some of you may get a call out of the blue from somebody from your past. So if you're single and you recently ended something, it could be this person that they are possibly going to call you out of the blue. And for others, it could, I mean, it, it could have been somebody even if you didn't recently end something with them. I get communications. And for some, I feel like this could even be overseas communications or long distance communications. So what I mean by that is like, online, Facebook, I don't know, um, any dating site that's out there, you may be communicating with, um, with somebody. I wanna get back to the legalities because I do feel that on a legal note, there may be some delays in legalities. So for somebody, I feel like this is an actual divorce you might be going through a divorce or you're deciding whether or not you you want a divorce. But uh, for others, I get this. It could be the total opposite where it's not a divorce. It's actually, see, I'm getting travel here. So this could be customs. This could be a K-1 visa. This could be a green card situation regarding a loved one. I'm also getting the birth, the birth of a child, birth certificate. So it could be that somebody is attending like a baby shower this weekend. Oh, and if it's here in the United States, it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. And some of you may be traveling for that. Um, I would, 
anticipate possibly some delays in travel, but then be very happy if there aren't any. Hopefully there won't be. I feel like there is somebody that's being very stubborn about a situation. They're just not budging. They're wanting to win at all costs, and this may go back to the legality, the legal situation. For some of you, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus may be of significance, especially with the seven here. Some of you may have a choice in love to make between starting something new and ending something, or something that has been around for a while and you're deciding what direction to go in, whether or not you're going to continue staying or start something new. And some of you are just waiting. You're waiting to hear some news about a situation and maybe there's a, a delay of some kind. And that's why I keep getting a delay, is uh, possibly with the Ace of Cups. But... I want to see what's next. Yeah, there's definitely travel. Mm. This is kind of that cyclical situation where things are stuck. They're not moving. And with the emperor here, I think that somebody may also be having a hard time maintaining their own boundaries. I want to see what's next. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Some of you may have felt like you've really made some sacrifices. I think that quite a few of you have a choice in love to make. And I think that some of you are deciding to move on to something new and somebody is having difficulty with that. It may be that you have recently noticed some changed behavior in this person, maybe a bit of jealousy or Anger, a bit manipulative. I don't like using that word. I mean, it seems kind of negative to me, but that's how it's coming across, that it's more about uh, them than you. And so I feel like some of you are possibly moving on from a situation and... or at least wanting to. But it's, it could be the other way around where you're watching this and your partner has decided to move on, but that's not how it's coming across to me. I feel like the decision is yours. So you have a decision in love to make. And some of you very much could be sticking to your guns and you're not... Uh, where maybe you were more flexible in the past, you're, you've learned of the sacrifices and you're kind of tired of keep making sacrifices for somebody and um, things coming up short. There's a lot of contemplation going on. And I am filming this before the 14th. So this could be happening as soon as I, you know, release the video. So that's usually the way my readings work. But for some of you, I think, you know, you might be thinking about staying and rebuilding. That's another message that I'm getting. But if you do that, it's important that you get to the core of what issues have transpired. Like, don't just bypass them and ignore them because I feel like they will come back around again if you do that, okay? So these are just some messages that I am getting. If you would like a reading with me, please go to moonwatertarot.com and click on Tarot Services and you'll see what I offer right now. I am doing phone readings and I have uh, 
also email readings and video readings and art readings also. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a beautiful week. All right, bye. Mm -hmm.